to Vela. Vela lets it go to Rossi. Back to Vela, continuing his run into the area. Vela around the defender. Oh my goodness! Around the keeper it is. I have not seen anything like that. What a goal! There's nothing better in the beautiful game of soccer than when the ball hits the back of the net. The crowd goes crazy and the team celebrates in the corner after a beautiful finish. From solo goals by technical dribblers or absolute screamers made by the technical finisher, the MLS has given some amazing soccer moments that will go down in history. This is an atmosphere the world has fallen in love with and has found a way to come together through this game. The feeling you get when being in the stadium brings a rush of excitement as if you were right there on the pitch with your team. This feeling is like no other. The atmosphere is like no other. Soccer is needed everywhere. Soccer is needed in Milwaukee. My name is Stuart Rivaldi. I am a graphic designer, and I have had the privilege of designing the brand new MLS soccer team, the Milwaukee Wayfinder Soccer Club. I chose to brand this soccer team because of the importance of soccer and the role it plays in the world. Soccer is the world's most popular sport. It brings so many people together from all sorts of backgrounds. Its estimated global following is 4 billion people except in the United States where it has not acquired the same amount of attention. The importance of soccer and the impact it has culturally is a way to connect people together. It's a beautiful game and should have a place in Milwaukee. Milwaukee met all the criteria in order to see potential of building this team from the ground up. It is the largest city in Wisconsin, which will give it a bigger fan base and more people will be able to come and be a part of the soccer experience, which is what the city of Milwaukee needs. The club was given the name Wayfinders for the club's location. The story behind the name is connecting to sailing and the inner peace that it brings. As Wisconsin resides on Lake Michigan and peace is the foundation of the mission of this team, Wayfinder helps in navigation and finding the right way to go, which is the connection we are looking to make among all of us. The logo that represents the Wayfinders is a mark that represents both Milwaukee and the Wayfinder. The mark is the letter M formed to make an image of sails then placed on top of its boat, making it the Wayfinder. The color palette was ne the next item that needed clarity. My decision making led to three shades found from the lake. Navy blue, light blue, and teal green. These colors represent the water that the Wayfinder sails on. Next was the jerseys. I wanted to incorporate some, signific some significance in the design of them, something that was unique to them. I decided to trace a topographical map of Lake Michigan and place it on the jersey, creating an interesting aesthetic. For the alternate jersey, or the away team kit, I created a pattern from the logo. While it might not be as meaningful, it represents the brand, which is why it works really well for the jersey design. I also created three posters for the club, which help aid in the club's morale. It helps give them a more concrete identity. They are placed throughout the city of Milwaukee, showing what the Wayfinders are about. To help give the club more support, there is fan gear, such as replica jerseys, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, scarves, and flags that can be purchased and worn to games to support the club. I also created a brand book for the Milwaukee Wayfinders that show the brand and how it works and how their identity should be portrayed. This is where my journey begins as a graphic designer, starting my career off with branding the new MLS soccer team, the Milwaukee Wayfinders. The style design that influences me is Swiss design. It is clean, it is concise, and simple. This is what I strive to be, a designer who is clean and concise with design while keeping things simple, straight and to the point. Graphic design is an art with purpose. It allows me to express my creativity every day. Joseph Mueller Brockman was one of the leaders in Swiss design in the 1950s. He is recognized for his posters, which use text, photographs, and similar graphics to create a striking arithmetic of compositions. He is also well known for his use of grid-based design. Branding is an area of importance that is often overlooked, but I want to bring its importance back to life. Branding product projects, pr branding protects a business from its competitors who want in on the success that is being 
brought to the table. This is how customers are perceiving a business and I can bring value and insight to help companies from form that bond to their customers. During my time studying graphic design, I've acquired several influences such as George Lois and Lyndon Letter. The work that George Lois presented is most substantial and I have had the privilege of watching these now hit areas come to life, such as ESPN, USA Today, and MTV. He found his voice in this industry and let his work do all the talking. While my sense of humility directly resonates with Lois, my outspoken character does not. Lyndon Letter's design philosophy is well-known simplicity and clarity. By simply following this practice, he has created many influential corporate identities such as FedEx, which follow these basic design principles. His work with stationary design and color scheme has given his work the modern look. My goal with the Wayfinders is to make them as well known as George Lois and Lyndon Letter have done with their work. The Milwaukee Wayfinders Soccer Club is ready to take its place in the MLS and show the world what they are made of.